All right, uh, let's see. So, uh, disclaimer before we... Wow, hi, okay. Disclaimer before we get too far in this one. Reveals the number of random cells equal to the... Okay, that's really good. Uh, before we get too far into this one, if we lose this run, it's Retromation's fault. You can all blame him. Uh, now that I've had that out of the way, let's uh, let's let's beat this run. If we win it, it's absolutely all all me. Nothing on him. Uh, let's see. So let's just lock some of these down. He's going well. That's a toss up, isn't it? Uh, let's see. This is a 50-50, isn't it? Well, I have a spare heart just sitting around, so it doesn't matter if I actually take a hit here. Ooh, 50-50s. I do not like them. Uh, let's see, we barely have any money, so let's let's just skip. And hi! Wow! I, I know I, I said blame Retro for this one, but... Uh, Dude seems to have come bearing some luck. This stage RNG is nuts. Seems to be messing with me a little bit here. It was good for a moment, and then it was gone. So... If there's only three creatures left, it's gotta be one of these... Okay. So we still haven't found them. But we got closer. Let me think. So this needs one in one of these two spaces. This needs two in any of these spaces. So it's got to be this one. There we go. That's easy. No back seating, yeah? Uh, I'm- I'm relaxing it a little bit on this. I'm getting better at it, but if there's very obviously, like, a concept that I've missed that might help me, I'm super down to hear those. Because I'm slowly learning the basics of how, uh, how this works. And I'm actually- I- I feel like I've been doing a good job. It's usually when I Hail Mary on dumb things that have been killing me. And I've- I've even beaten a couple runs at this point, so it's not like I'm- I'm having that much of a struggle. It's just I always get to a certain point where I'm just like, I'm gonna use the drill, and then I die. Uh, which should surprise no one, because the drill is an absolute death trap. That, you know, if I were a better player, uh, it wouldn't be so bad. But... Uh, I am, I am still a wee babby wanderer, and I'm still learning. Let's see, even with your vac band screen hacks. Uh, that only happened once, and, uh, Steam- Steam wasn't looking, so I- I was okay. <laughs> uh, let's see, so that's actually gotta be filled in there. So I got seven critters left. This is gnarly. Well, it's got to be something like this, yeah? Yeah. But yeah, I, I will absolutely cheat to learn if it helps me suss out the secrets of a game. Earlier today, I was actually playing on classic mode with a, um, with a, uh, a Minesweeper solver right next to me. Do we take a Waygate? I think I'm just going to ignore the waygate for a second. Your stats and monster damage are unknown. That yeah, should be fine. Um, but yeah, I was just using a solver to figure out like, hey, how do you solve this? How do you solve this? And the answer is, I learned nothing, so I stopped doing it. Lose a number of omens equal to the value of the target visible cell, then gain that many random omens. Boy. 
That's a good reset button if you are absolutely skunked otherwise. God, the music on this game is actually really good. <laughs> really good. Like, yes, yesterday, the last time I was playing this, people were definitely like, yeah, I don't like the music. But, like, the further I get into it, the more of these stages that I get to play, I'm like, no, this is actually, this is pretty good. Let's see. A lot of easy openings. A lot of easy openings. I feel like there's a lot more of them now. Sometimes not, though. It has been mean it has been mean to me today. Not often, but enough. One problem is I'm more or less just probing gaps instead of actually playing Minesweeper. I'm just like, oh, yep, there's gonna be one there, there's gonna be one there. And, uh, it works out. Okay, uh, oh no. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> we got four creatures left in six spaces. <laughs> well, it's gotta be this. And then, like, this? Because I can't have it be there, because I'd have to have a piece here. Yeah, so it's got to be this. Yeah, there we go. I was just like, how the hell? It's just a little little monster club in the corner. Ooh, whenever you pick up a diamond, gain one soul. Now I need diamonds. Uh, let's go back for the first shop. Okay. 40 coins every turn. Every 20 turns. Spend 10 coins on the debt. Magic items will trigger an extra time. Many of your diamonds will be purple diamonds. Oh! I just need a bit more money. Uh, seven more... Well, I mean... We're get, we gotta... We gotta go diamonds. Let's see how this boils down. I'm in debt. I wonder what happens when I'm... I wonder what happens if I can't pay off the debt. Diamonds, soul hearts. Oh, is it not a surefire thing? Wait, where the hell is my legendary? Uh... Oh, I unlocked it. I didn't pick it up. Oh. Oh, from leveling. That's why. I was like, oh, but Soul Heart Diamonds. And the answer is, uh, never mind. I kind of wish it worked like, um... I, I kind of wish it actually did work like Dead Cells. Or when you unlock something, it'll actually just give it to you for a run. Just for extra shenanigans. Okay, basic head armor. Well, we have enough money, so we should be able to pay pay the debt. Okay, that's good. I I'm not a big fan of debt, obviously. I mean nobody should be. But it's kind of one of those where it's like, even in video games, I get really itchy about the idea. Enough debt has put my ex extended family in the hole for far too long, so I'm, I'm always just kind of like, eh. Even, even in a video game, I'd like to avoid it, if I can manage it. Well... That's an easy done deal. Let's 
Let's see, what about interest? Eh. No interest in this one, which is quite nice, actually. It feels like a better reward to have it immediately. Yeah, exactly. And admittedly, it's one of the only things I actually really like about Dead Cells. I can't wait until the uh, the DLC comes out and we can actually uh, play it again. I, I think my problem is I played Dead Cells too early in its development, and that was good, but it messed me up a little bit because I more or less was just like... I don't remember if cells equal to the... Nah. We can stay away from that one. Uh, but yeah, I played it so early in, in its development, I was bored with it by the time it was actually good. So everybody else was like, man, Dead Cells is amazing. And I'm like, I don't really like the game. Uh, so it's actually got to be these two. Because this can only be attached to... Uh, no. It could be either of these. But it has to be that one. Does that give me any information? Not really. Because it could be either of these, could be either of these, and we still got six doodads lurking. Because uh, it could be either of these, but nope, it's got to be that one. So how much does that leave me accounted, unaccounted for? A lot. Thing is, if it's got to be either of these, it can't be that one. Clears that out real quick. Unfortunately, this means we still have four unaccounted for, and we only know where two of them are. definitely picked up a lot fast. Thank you. Yeah, I, I did a, I Practice helped a lot. Actually studying for once. This is one of the only games that I've ever done research to master. This and Factorio. Because Factorio I had to learn, like, line balancing and some other stuff. Main bus tactics, really. And so, like, sitting time to actually look at, look at like, how do you do this sort of thing? It actually works out fairly well. <sighs> I'm... But I feel like I got a guess on this one, though. So you wonder, couldn't you put on the helmet? I could. Yeesh. Okay. There we go. So, works... My poor helmet does get repaired, so it's not so bad. Let's see, does this game have a turn limit? No, it doesn't, actually. Uh, the turn the turn limit is elsewhere. Um, the, tur the turn limit is more of just how many turns you've done. I think there is a limit for some of the other ones. Uh, well... And I can't use consumables here. So I can't even use the candle. But also the candle would be super bad. Okay, so... This is so bad. I'm pretty much going to have to sacrifice my helmet and pray to luck. Because let's lay out potentials. So we could do something like this. <laughs> um. No, that doesn't actually work. That's a bit too much. That works. Wait, hold up. No, that doesn't work.
that. That works. Or some variation therein. So do I have the spy class unlocked? It's very handy for situations like this. Nope. I've only unlocked level one survivor. Because I haven't actually been playing this game for very long. So uh, I have <laughs> very little skills to actually help me here. And since we've got this, I can't even use the one thing I would have. Uh, let's see. You're right. I would, I would need another down here to get this to work. Oh. Okay. Maybe there is only one solution on this one. It looks awful, but... Maybe it... No. Something like that? Does that work? I think it has to be something like this. Because, so, these are no-go zones. Because it could be e either of these. And until we get closer, we won't know. Nope. Damn, that hurt. And I'm dead. Damn it. Yeah. Oh, I should have unsculled everything. I was just... After after the first mistake, I'm just like, flail and death. Anyway, I, as per the rules, that was uh, that was Retro's fault. So, I take no blame. Son of a butt. All right, whatever. I take mild blame for everything that went wrong. <laughs> Sorry, man. I just had to. You showed up at such a perfect time. So... That was an awful start, though. That was such a miserable start. Oh. This is why I need to unlock some classes, but I can't do that. There we go, that was easy. And which is this? The sizzling electro hand of the fa- Oh, wait. Sizzling electro hand, the foul of knowledge. I really gotta get a, get a build at some point where I can kill those sucker suckers. I believe this is called character assassination. <laughs> yes. Damn. Look at these starts, though. Like, when it's good, it's good. Uh, let's see. It's mostly good. So let's take a look at this, this one. Obviously, not the prettiest. This has got to get... One more. We have three monsters left. So we got to have one or two up here. Well, hold up. We know that has to be one. Yeah, that has to be one. And it could be either of these. And problem solved. Okay, reveal target cell. Hell yeah, torch! Not the most exciting thing I've got, but that's fine. Alright, I got 15 coins. Let's leave it. Having that torch on hand will be super nice. Okay, not too shabby. Kill visible monsters. If the monster is standing on a three or greater, this dagger breaks. That's a different one. So do I want to take some hits purely to kill? I could. So it's a backpack. May find duplicate items when you enter a stage, reduce the minimum power by your highest number of duplicates. Interdasting. Okay. <sighs> this 
Because I could do something like that, and then that, and then that. That would work pretty damn well. Never mind. Well. Wait, how does this even work? How do I kill visible monsters? Oh, I see. I could just I could just shank it and I get bones. And bones heal. Yes. Okay. That's a neat way of handling things. So, I'm really curious. You don't always get bones. Yeah. If I had more armor or something, it would be interesting to go on a shanking spree. But I probably shouldn't do that. So let's see. So this has to be connected to two. So it's got to be that one there. That's got to be there. Only be connected to one. This needs to be connected to one. This needs to be connected to one. This needs to be connected to one. Blech. Blech. See, we've only got six left. Let's see. We've got six. We need at least two, three, four here. And then a couple of wild cards just floating. Let me think. Because, yeah, the problem is we could have this here. And then this here. And then, like, one or two of these. And that would work. There's a very wide range at which these could get connected. Same thing with this one. And hell if I know. Well, that doesn't make me feel better. We know there are three down here. Ooh. Well, that... That's a bit of a plus. Okay, we know there's one up here. And we know there's two up here. So, could it be something like that? And then one or two of these? I believe I'm going to find out. Painfully or not, who knows? There we go. Sometimes you just have to leap of faith. As hard as you can, face plant into the dungeon wall. I'll be okay. Uh, let's see. I guess I could have used the torch there. That would have been maybe helpful. So... What am I thinking? So we got the treasure chest, obviously. Consume passive items to spawn a chest. Yeah. Huh. Regift. Okay. I'm curious about how that one's going to boil down. We'll get another chest. You spend at least 30 coins on an item shop. It remains open. Okay, that's kind of neat. Be either of those. All right. That gets a bit better. <laughs> that out. Cycle this. Okay. 
making good progress. Oh no. Okay. Actually, correction. This is... Okay, so there's two up here, which means this is all safe. Uh, let's see, how am I doing on the torch? I'm just going to kill the Enraged Shatterproof Hooter. There we go. And I'm a little injured, so we can actually grab that. So the question is, do I want to reveal one of these and then shank it? Oh, I actually can't. Actually can't kill it. Huh. Alright. I got 27 coinage. I'm not... Ooh, what's this? If you're injured, lose one life whenever you discover fire, five or greater. You cannot die to bleeding. Ooh. Okay. That's a plus. Well, I was bemoaning my lack of funds. Send flares in all directions from the first cell you open on each sa stage. Ooh. Okay, that's that's exciting. Okay, so this... Well, no. This could be either... But this has to be filled. To get this one. So... We'll have to figure that one out in a bit. So one of these three has to be filled to sit, to fulfill this one. Eh, uh, that doesn't quite work the way I want it to. Let's see, my torch is a ways off. Okay. So it could be either of these two. Either of these two. Well, I don't think we get much of a choice here. Or, no, we could. Because it could be this. Or it could just be that one. So let's think about this. So... Yeah, the problem is, this one could just be this. And this could be anything. But it can only be one or one of these two. If it was. But it could be right there. But it can't... Can it be this one? No, oh, it was. Alright, whatever. It's dead. We have a heart. And we have a lot more wiggle room to work with. Do we? We have a little bit more. Yes, we have a lot more. Room got wiggly. I kind of wish I could actually roll back. And... Not not to undo my mistake, but just to like analyze like, okay, what did this look like before before I screwed up? But oh well. Uh let's see. No. This can only be connected to one. This needs two more. So it's gotta be It can't actually be this two, because that'd be too much. It's gotta be these two. Still moderately, mildly trapped, but that's fine. So that has to be there.
Okay, got six more. Not terribly injured. Torch will be up soon. So let's see. We know there has to be at least one here. Could be more than that. Doubt I will find a five or great greater at this point. So the bleeding might not be so bad. If I do get smacked. I prefer to avoid getting smacked though. So let's let's think about this instead of just hail marrying. So I still don't know about these. Well, kill the frog. Oh, mm, no, that do, that really does not help me. Okay, because yeah, we don't have any any easy safe spaces that I can really look at. Wait, no, we kind of do. So let me think. So this needs to be connected to at least one more. This needs to be connected to one more. It's got to be one of these two, by nature. So that means this is safe. Good, it's connected to two, which actually means... That's a creature. And that's a creature. Okay, gotta be those. So we have one creature left, which is gonna be right there. Alright, so I took one one point of damage. It's not so bad. A little bit of defense would go a long way here, but... It's my equipment. I got money now, so we can go shopping. Shopping has... Whenever you bury bones, fortify the value of the cell. Oh god, that'd be so good. Be so good. I want it. <sighs> well, that shop's a bust. Whenever you lose exactly one life, spawn a saw blade. Wherever a spawn blade saw blade explodes, one life. Tesla coil. Reveal a number of cells in five by five area equal to the smallest visible value. No. Oh. Okay, so now we got double torches. And the shop remained open. Cool. Now I'm now I'm dual wielding torches. Okay, so things just got a lot easier. Dual wielding torches comboed with the fire blast, comboed with there's stuff. Uh, let's see. So I got the Tesla coil, yeah? And I can just murder these guys. What if my dagger broke? My dagger broke! Shoot. Whatever. It's okay. It did its duty. Rest in daggers, dagger. You were cool. Now you're dead. Freaking spoopy music. Uh, let's see. Dig in the Tesla coil. Dig in the items that I've got right now. Uh, let's see. Well, if it's that, it's got to be both of those. Got to be that one. Poop that out. Okay. Ooh, boy, that's a that's a big opening. Surgical saw. Lose a life. Spawn a heart on a target cell. That has some uses. Most of them are kind of random. Let's 
We'll see how it goes. Uh, let's see. Fill that out, fill that out. All right, well, that was easy. Right, that was easy. Yeah, I should have waited to kill Mang Mangy Paula. <laughs> Wow! Somebody did not like Paula here. Alright, do we reveal... Uh, no. Let's not. Because that's that's a one -er. So we, we know what goes there. I don't I don't need to use my torches. That's... That's silly and meaningless. There we go. We're good. Nothing else? Nothing else. Okay, I got 55 gold coins. We could go to this shop. When you enter an item shop, cut the prices in half. Okay. So that's pretty dang good. Whenever a monster is revealed, spawn a monster in a hidden cell. Oh no! Oh, gosh. I mean, that should be good, because we're not actually revealing monsters half the time here. We're pretty good at avoiding that. So, maybe that's not quite as dangerous as I... I am bemoaning. Especially with my busted-ass... Everything burns combo. Because we certainly... Nope. Okay. Right. If I've covered it, clicking on it does nothing. I... I almost did a big whoops. Big whoops. Alright. Life is good. Do I... I got the Tesla coil. It... Okay, so there's an opening down here. Is what that's saying. Which actually works out kind of well for me. There we go. Almost works better. Almost. Would have been nice if it just revealed like a whole bunch of things or zapped a bunch of monsters, but yeah, I'll take what I can get. Okay, so that's got to be a that's got to be a creature, even if it's burning, and I can't click on it, I can still learn from its contents. Wow. Uh oh, it's almost. Okay, what do we got? Let's take a look up here. Uh, let's see, so that's that's gotta be a, a critter. Okay, so this has to be connected to one. So it could be either of these. If it was this, it's everything. But it could also be, oh wait, I think it has to be that. Because this only needs one more. This needs one more. This needs two more. This needs two more. So it's got to be... It's got to be that. Because it can't be the lower ones. It'll piss off this one. Uh, do we... Porch? Yes. Eh. That's some high numbers. Okay, we got 15 gooners left. Do I torch there? It's 
I've got two more. Well, that really didn't help me nearly as much as I would have liked. I do have a lot of hearts just sitting around. So if I do if I do take a smackins, I'll be okay. But no. I should I should probably use my brain beyond just this. Cuz I've definitely got other patterns that I can recognize. I'm getting spoiled by the amount of like really low-hanging fruit here, and it's throwing me off actually kind of hard. Okay, so this can only have one in either of these. So this has to be filled. Could be filled there. Or there. Hmm. This is five. We got eight critters left. Okay, show. Hold up, so this needs two more. This can only have one more. So that means this has got to be... Does it? No, because we could, we could have this as well. We know this needs to be a monster, at the very least. But any of these, any of these three could be. Either of those could be any of these two. And then there's still a, se there's still several more just floating around in here. I don't have any immediate items. What Hail Mary do I want to go for? Okay. Damn it. That honestly solved nothing. I should have gone for one of these two, because that would have actually solved problems. Okay, that actually does solve problems. Pure, purest of Hail Marys. Oh, God. There's four more somewhere in here. Somewhere in this absolute crap pile of rainbow. Well, here's the question. Nope. At least I know I heal. As long as I don't make a bunch of immediate mistakes on the next round, we can't actually just first aid up. We got four creatures. We know... Two of them are in proximity to this. And one of them are in proximity to this. Then we could have one, two, and three, and that would, that would fit. Or that. Okay, so we know for... With absolute certainty... No. Because it, it could be either of these two. Damn it. Should have used the Tesla coil here. So just aiming for the largest possible spot... To some degree, probably should have done that with the torches. Remember the other numbers, Wander. There are pretty much no other number. This entire area is just filled with critters. Bad ones, too. Well, we know there's three up here and one down here. Oh. Which actually does make this a little bit easier. Ah!
I was hail marrying for an open spot that I figured was safe. And that was the one unaccounted for monster that I had no idea if he was going to be there or not. There were no safe spaces. It was going to be a gamble no matter what. And, well, that didn't work. God damn it. With these all, all these corners. All right, whatever. Uh, restart quest. Let me go back to my corner shenanigans. These corners I know where I can work with. That actually was... That was a gamble. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. Bad habits will kill me. Bad habits do kill me. I swear I want to run. Did I... I haven't run a... Wait. Did I win a run earlier or did I win a run earlier today? Oh, it's all starting to blend together in my head. All right, we got one more creature. Oh, that's easy. It's got to be that. Hey, that's a good one. It's not the most amazing. Is that a legendary? It is legendary. It's... That is not my favorite legendary, to be honest. Ah! Ah! Maybe I should go back to center, center spots. Clearly works better for me. Okay. Uh. There's got to be one of these two. Which means this is safe. Not that safe. Well, that doesn't really help me. What does this do? Muscle. Spawn a strong familiar at the start of each si stage. Wow. Okay, that's really good. We got ni ooh, nine creatures left. Okay. So these all have to be touching one monster. So there could be a monster on any of these spaces. Would there be a monster here, though? No. I am definitely taking more leaps of logic than I probably should be at this point. But I'm getting a little impatient. Uh, this is... This is... Ugh. Okay, there's one more. So it's gotta be one of those two. So these, these are safe. There we go. Um... How long have I been playing this for? Almost three hours, so I should probably switch switch games. Uh, after this run. Win or lose. I really wanted to get a win. What the heck? Alright. Item shops never run out of items. Ooh. That's cool. Not something I'll, I will generally care too much about. But still useful. Okay. Let's keep filling these in. But yeah, just... Playing X amount of this game just eventually makes me kind of impatient because I'm just like, I wanna, I wanna just get get further in. I wanna get the cool shit. Problem is, I actually have to beat runs to get the really cool shit. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of stick. Not too stuck. Spawning the strong familiar though will be kind of handy. I'm, I'm going to have to use, figure out how to utilize that better. So, I got 37 coins. Let's go into the item shop. We'll see what we have. 
Target a cell with a magic item. It gains frozen. When you complete a stage, you gain one soul for each frozen cell. When you target a cell with a magic item, it gains frozen. When you complete a stage, gain one soul for each frozen cell of value five or greater. That could either be really, really handy or completely useless. If I already had something that let me target cells, I think I'd be down. Let's ignore the portal for the time being. Ooh, what's this? What if you discover five greater increased minimum stage power? Ooh. You have selling seven mana. Hard pass on that. Okay, so I'm just going to I'm going to let my murder monster just do his thing. Uh Dude is effective. Either of those. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. Ow. Okay, things just got more dramatic. Glitter Bear Owl of Homicide. Man. I feel like we should come up with a wild list of insane modifiers to add. No, I can't actually do that, can I? But, like, weird randomly generated modifiers to, to apply to... To creatures in one of my D&D campaigns. That'd be fun. Okay, so one of these three has to be connected to something. Uh, let's see. Unfortunately, this is actually considered a one, and this is considered a one as well. Blech. That very well could be either side. Power is two to three, so we're we're getting very close to sudden death. If I'm not careful. So this has to be one or two of these. This has to be one or two of these. It's got to be the middle one. Okay. Filling it out slowly. So this needs one more, this needs one more, this needs one more. It's got to be the middle one. I'm zooping. Aha! The homicide owl! Vengeance! Double vengeance. Corner diamond. Oh no! Not this business again. Um, lefty, righty, what do you guys think? Left it is. Ow, I'm dead. Homicide owl. Retro. It's your fault again. <laughs> 